Mikey, we'll be arriving soon, so get ready for the best weekend of your life. We've been wanting to fly to the sea for a long time, and now our dream has come true. Oh, why do chickens fly so high? Are we really going to the sea? But, okay, I think it doesn't matter. The main thing is that you and I will finally rest and forget about all the problems. I hope that the villagers will like the sea and they will not sell some nonsense there, because I know them. They are only a glad eye. So, let's see what the place where our plane is controlled looks like. It looks very interesting, but it's better not to touch anything there, because you can accidentally break something. Okay, whatever you say, I really want to fly to the sea to finally have a good rest. But first, let's go to the toilet. We haven't been there yet. Okay, let's go, but you wouldn't be able to talk about what you want to go to the toilet. But okay, now it's not very important. I'm in too good a mood to be indignant now. Wait, what is this? Oh no, Mikey, come here. Uh, we have a problem. Our airplane wing is on fire. And it shouldn't be like that. Yeah, there's clearly something wrong. Oh my god. No, not that. Let's go to the pilots. Let's tell them about it. They must know something about it. Or we can't be saved at all. JJ, what do we do, you know? Do something. It's a blue plane and we're on fire, Sos. Help us. We don't know how much longer we can hold out. But things are clearly bad. JJ, we are at a huge height. Do you think you can call for help here? You're not serious. Nothing will help us anymore. I do not know what to do. We are in great danger. And not only us, but all the villagers. Just look at them how scared they are. Mikey, are you kidding me? Why did you tell them the plane was on fire? All we needed now was a panic on the plane. Just not that. They are very scared, and it seems that they don't really want to be here. And I don't want to know what they are going to do. It seems that they have already gone crazy. Oh no! It seems they are going to jump out of the plane! But where do they have parachutes? And why don't we have this? And what do we do now with this? They will leave us here completely alone! Is it serious or not? Guys, wait! Don't jump! You don't know how to use a parachute! Where do you jump at all? Do you even know? Mikey, now we are definitely alone with you! And without parachutes! And we don't know how to get out of here and what to do with all this now! I do not know! Now we are alone at all! This is the saddest thing that could have been! And no one will help us now! And your so signal will not work either! But we're still here! And I'm not planning to give up! And we'll fix this plane ourselves, no matter what it costs us. So let's go and do it. Okay, I think you're right. We can handle it ourselves. It's not as difficult as we think. So let's not waste time. Come on. We must first understand what happened and how we could fix it before it's too late. Because time is not working for us. And at any moment, the plane may crash. And then there is nothing we can do. Take the tools and let's go think about what happened. But we have one problem. We can't do anything from inside the plane. And this means that someone will have to get out. And I definitely won't do it. So let's do it. Just be careful, okay? No, <laughs> I won't climb alone so you come with me. Or you can go down for the villagers. So you'd better choose what I offered you. And in general, be careful because there's a very strong wind here. And you remember this because I don't really want to stay here alone. I don't know how to fix it and what to fix, and I hope that you know all the same about it. Everything is very bad here. We have one engine in the wing out of order and caught fire, so we'll have to put it out. Do you understand? Just let me do it faster. And for now, don't do nonsense and think about what we should do with this engine, because we don't have anything, and the engine doesn't seem to be working. We'll have to do something about it, and I hope you understand what I'm telling you. Well, it's not very good, but I think that maybe we will do it. Because we don't have another chance. Do you understand me or not? So let's finish this. It seems that we have eliminated the fire. But this is not the end. The engine is not working. And it's very terrible. That means we'll have to fix it. So let's get out of here and go back to this plane. Maybe there we can find some instructions or something else useful. Do you understand what I'm telling you? or not. No, we can't go back until we fix all the problems or something terrible happens. So let's get this over with. Do you understand me? Just don't skip these blocks that overheat and emit steam. This is what we have to do now. 
Then we'll think what we need to do further. But now this is all our work and we will do it. Do you understand me? Okay. Whatever you say, maybe you're better at airplanes than I am. So let's just get this over with and see what happens. Now let's move on. There's still some steam in the nose of the plane that we'll have to eliminate. So run faster before we crash to the ground, okay? Of course, it's all good that we do all this, but it seems that nothing changes, which means that this is not the main problem. We fix these engines, but nothing happens at all. We both declined and continue to decline, and this means that after some time we will just crash, and then nothing will help us. So we need a plan B. We have no other option. So please come up with something while there is still such an opportunity. I have a plan. We'll make a ladder down and just get off this plane. So stand by me and don't stop me from building. Do you understand me? I think there will be a great place for this. But wait, what's going on? Why are blocks and ladders disappearing? How does it work? What's wrong? I don't understand. Mikey, I can't do anything. You don't know by chance why it turns out this way. Maybe let's you try to do it? It's because of the wind. That's why you can't do anything. So let's come up with something else while there's still time. I do not know. I have no ideas. Let's go to the captain's cabin and maybe we can find something there. Suddenly someone answered our request for help that I announced. What do you think? Oh no, Mikey. Not this. It seems that we are not alone here. There is some other plane that has arrived. I hope that this is the plane with the help? Oh no. It's a plane with evil villagers. I don't remember what they are called correctly, but they obviously didn't come to help us. JJ, we won't be able to fix our plane and fly away from them. And they are already too close. And I don't know what to do with it. I'm very scared. Sooner or later, they will be here late. And there are probably a lot of them there. And there are only two of us. And what do we do about it? Do you know by chance? Oh no, it's bad. So we'll have to defend ourselves from them. I don't want to die today just like you. And our situation is deplorable, to put it mildly. So we ran faster there so that we could find a way to get rid of them. And the good thing is that I took some blocks of tools and explosives with me on vacation. I don't even want to know why you decided to take so much TNT on vacation. But it's good that you took it. But I don't understand why we need TNT. What are you going to do with it? JJ, are you sure that we have to fight them? Maybe we'll just fix our plane and fly away from them. We don't even have weapons! Do you understand that? We won't need weapons. I know what to do and how to defeat them. So don't be afraid. You're with me. Which means that all is not lost. Do you understand me or not? So, just make sure that they don't fly up to us too fast. And I'm still. That I will do what I actually took this TNT for. We will get to them first. And we will play on the surprise. They will not know that we are on their plane. Which means that we will have an advantage. I still don't quite understand why you're doing all this. Are you sure it's safe? Or have you forgotten how last time all your blocks flew away because of the wind? Yes, I understand that the wind has died down now, but at any moment it can start blowing again. And then we won't be joking anymore. And we'll just fall down. And then nothing will help us for sure? JJ, please answer my questions. I don't understand what's going on here. And I'm very scared that you're building it all. What is it for? And how will it help us against those evil villagers? Mikey, I thought you were smarter than you seem. But apparently I was wrong as always. But, don't be afraid. I'm sure for sure that my TNT gun will work. But instead of TNT, we will shoot something else. And that's the most interesting thing. I hope that you understand this. So let's just watch Follow Me. We're going to send us there through a TNT explosion. Do you understand me? But we have to decide who will be the first. Are you ready? Um, why me? This is your idea as I understand it. Why are you forcing me to be the first? Do you think I can do it? But okay, I agree. We don't have time to think about it. So let's get down to it. You know how to blow up properly? Of course I know how it's done. The main thing is don't worry and trust me completely. This is the only way we can hope for success. Do you understand me? Only I ask you, don't move around because you can fly somewhere wrong. But I think you will definitely cope. Come on, Mikey. I believe in you, you can do it because we don't have another chance. 
And I hope they won't hear the explosion, because then we'll have problems with that. And then we won't be able to attack them anymore. Mikey, wait for me. I'll be at your place soon, and we'll get on their plane. Come on! Fly to me here! Oh, it seems that you didn't fly a little. I wanted to pour water for you, but okay, it doesn't matter. The important thing is that we got to this plane, and now we will definitely show them that they shouldn't have come here. Mikey, be quiet. They shouldn't hear us. I understand that the plane is soundproof, but still don't draw attention to yourself, okay? Although, with your bright skin color, it's hard, but just follow me and everything will be fine. But what can I tell you? It's not. It's really cool. There are too many of them. And I do not know if we can cope with all of them. I'm not sure about that. But I hope that we will succeed. By the way, you're doing everything right. Now we're going to steal these engines from them to fix your plane. Then we will fly away from them, and they will no longer be able to catch up with us. But I think there will be no one to catch up. We will destroy them all. Right? Yes, we will destroy them. But first, we will get as many of these engines as possible, and then we will get inside their plane and destroy them all. Do you understand me? So come down here with me. And most importantly, don't be afraid. Everything will be fine with us. But I'm not sure about them. These are the accomplices of that plane. So if you want to save us, you'll have to deal with them. And you need to do it as quickly as possible because a lot of time has already been spent. Come on, fly there. And I'll tell you watching everything that happens. And that's all I can tell you. I don't know. I just wish you luck. I... Of course I am. Now I'll show them that they messed with the wrong ones. Well, guys, let's start the party. But I'll tell you right away. This will be the last flight in your life, so don't even think about what you can do to me. You're already doomed to death, because I'm JJ. I think you haven't heard of me, but now my name will be heard everywhere, and legends and songs will be slogged about me. Only I have one small question. How many of you are there at all? Do you have a whole army here, or is it just me? JJ, calm down. Everything will be fine. Just fight with them. I see that they are not infinite. Yes, there are a lot of them. Nothing can be done about it. But you are stronger than them. I am 100% sure of that. The main thing is not to let them go into your back so that they unexpectedly do not. They attacked you and then you will succeed. Do you hear me? Something seems to me. I've lost sight of you. What's going on there? Can you answer me this question? Or are you no longer alive at all? I'm alive, but I'm a little busy here, as you might have noticed. So I don't have much time to chat with you right now. But you can read me a verse, and I'll listen to it. So let's do something. Help me. You have this device. Can't you disable them? I think you can do it. You just try. And I think I understand that this is already your handiwork. So what? You really do it, right? Mikey, it would be better if you could still fly because I alone don't quite understand what and how to do here. It seems to me that this is a very strange place, and I haven't figured out what to do here yet. And also you can look out the window, and there you will see a witch. I do not know what she is doing here and how she lives here, but I do not really like it at all. Because witches can be dangerous, I think that you yourself understand this perfectly well without me. So, let's come up with what should we do in such a difficult situation. Wait, what are those other sounds? It doesn't seem to me. Or what's going on here at all? What are you doing? Mikey, are you crazy or something? Or what do you call it? Why did you build a TNT cannon on my chunk? Do you think you can bomb me? But it seems that something didn't work out for you. You blew up your gun a little. And it turns out that you're a loser. And how are you going to stop me at all? It was a test. And I realized that TNT guns are not mine, and I will not do this anymore. So, expect something else from me. So I would advise you to do something useful. I would prepare in your place for my new ideas because I, I already understand what I need to do in order to win. And don't start it at all, so that I wouldn't be outraged. Because sooner or later, I will get tired of it. And then there will be no stopping me. I will be very angry, and you better not feel my anger. I hope you understand me, okay? Come on, JJ, go fight them, and I'll keep an eye on you and you can handle him. I'm sure I'm looking at you, and I'm already getting scared from this. So go to him and defeat him, okay? 
They are here! So come on! I'll see that everything is fine with you. And I'll prompt you if something is unclear to you. I hope that you will cope with it. I think so. But let's go faster. Like I said, I'm cold. So let's get out of here. I don't really want to do it anymore. Come on, Mikey. You're going to be the first because I'm not sure if this TNT gun is working correctly or not. And I don't really want to take the risk. But now we will definitely be fine because I found spare parts and we will be able to fix our plane and we will finally fly away from here. No one else will dare to attack us, and we will go on a well-deserved rest, and we will spend it with dignity. Finally it happened. I thought that this moment would never come. So let's fly away from here. But you know what I'm interested in. What are the villagers who decided to jump out of the plane doing now? Do you think they are having fun there now? I don't think so, but the main thing is that we will have fun on vacation. So let's fly from here. Goodbye, guys.